Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on IOS, uh, which um, yeah, I wanted to make a video on that. I mean, I've covered this before in the past. I, I don't think it ever really got many views, uh, but it has been super bullish. I saw some affiliation with DWF Labs, uh, which is obviously amazing for the project. But uh, in general, I also saw some uh, some big developments. I mean, IOS has been doing things, all right? Now, I must say, like in general, the project it seems good. All right, and they're developing a lot, and I think it has potential. All right, but in the end, we must also be honest, uh, and, and that is, you know, if if DWF is behind the projects and if they back it, then there's probably some manipulation going on as well. And then apart from that, you can also see with IOS right now that it has been super bullish. Hit a significant resistance level right here at the three point six one eight fib and the twenty cents level. So what's next? That's what we'll talk about. All right. I, I'm not sure if iOS is actually somewhere on, on futures. I actually don't think so. Uh, no, not here at least. So what we'll have to work with is just the volume, volume that we have right here. Something else, by the way, that also helps is that it's on Coinbase, all right? Uh, because, uh, yeah, the, the sub industry that it is in for crypto is, uh, you know, not too many of them are, uh, of those coins are on Coinbase. So that helps. But right now, like purely technically, because that's what we have to work with, the big question is, is can IOS break up higher? All right. So right now, you could say the main resistance level is 17 and a half, 18 cents. That's a psychological resistance level and a technical resistance level for IOS. Um, you could say it's 20 cents. It doesn't matter that much. What matters is how it reacts to support. All right. So right now we can see that IOS got a major bullish breakout yesterday evening above this level right here. Which I would say the main support level really is between 12 and a half cents and then uh, 14 cents. That's the main support level. And then 12 and a half cents is a psychological support level. And then here we have the 0 0.618 FIP of the move up. Um, so yeah, that's just a, that's a good support level. So what we'll see today, and that's going to be the most important thing for IOS, is it will drop down. It has been dropping down quite severely. It will drop down to that level. And then from there... The big question is, is can it hold it or not? If the answer is yes, if IOS can hold that level, it doesn't even necessarily need to be that bullish. But if it holds it, that's in my, in my eyes, that's bullish confirmation. Because usually, and this is a, a typical market structure, usually one, if you have these strong impulse rallies up and the price consolidates, the price ranges, usually that is followed up by another wave up. All right, so if it's able to hold that level, then it will probably eventually get up towards 22 and a half and 23 cents, which is the next resistance level. Now, like I said, it all depends on that level. And like we've seen with some other, uh, uh, with some other, and I'll try to show you that, with some other DWF tokens like MDT, it's probably not going to be this, but they can crash. All right, so it's all about that support level. If IOS is not able to hold that, if it breaks down below 12 and a half cents, it will fall, all right? It will fall down towards 10, probably 8 cents, and then from there we'll see again. And that is, I think, all you need to know. I mean, it's difficult to say right now what's most likely. I mean, IOS is, is falling like a brick, uh, but the support level we talked about is quite strong. So we'll really have to see how it reacts to that. What's also a possibility, and that would count as a bearish breakout, is that it holds the level initially and then falls down below that. Like the level needs to hold for at least two days before I call it holding the level and ranging before moving up again. All right. Uh, so those are my thoughts. That's everything you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care. And if you're interested in a little bit more value from me in my premium group or a signal group, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.